students usually spend days, sometimes even weeks, writing a term paper or thesis. But with ChatGPT's new feature, you can tackle even the most complex research projects and generate a report of up to 10,000 words in just a few minutes. That's right, minutes, not days. And I'm not talking about generic AI-generated fluff. I mean high-quality content backed by dozens of academic sources. Hard to believe, right? Hi, I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Deep Research tool built right into the ChatGPT interface. We'll go over how to craft the right prompt to get the best results. I'll also try generating a long-form article based entirely on scientific sources. If you're working on written assignments, this video could save you hours. Seriously. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. Time to see this tool in action, let's get started. Deep Research Tutorial Let's explore one of ChatGPT's newest features, the Deep Research Tool. It allows you to conduct research on any topic you define. We'll also be using the new research preview model, GPT 4.5 which is excellent for idea generation and research. Exactly what we need. We'll ask it to conduct research. Act like an academician. Select scientific presentations and articles. Identify sources. And organize the material. Our topic will be Modern trends in renewable energy generation. Targeting college students aged 18 to 25. Let's go ahead and submit this prompt. The first thing ChatGPT does is ask follow-up questions. So let's prepare brief responses and continue the process. The answers are short and simple. Hopefully, it understands everything correctly. So far, it's doing great. It recognized that I am asking for a 1500-word article. It's going to include a chart, a data table with visuals, and present the content in a student-friendly format. Let's see how the research unfolds. We are starting the research. Let's give it a few minutes. And now we see that ChatGPT has opened a side panel on the right. It includes an activity section and a list of sources. The entire research process happens right here in the sidebar. This is where the AI collects sources and where the research develops. We'll wait for it to finish. We can already see that four sources have been added. Actually, it's three. Two of them come from the same site, but are different articles. After about 7 minutes and reviewing 24 sources, you can see them listed here. We received a complete article. It's written entirely in line with academic writing standards. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks! As you can see, the article includes links to all the sources used in the research many of which appear in the middle section. You'll find an introduction outlining the core issue behind the study, the challenges it aims to address. This is followed by an overview of global trends, with a brief background on renewable energy as a whole. The AI walks you through the development stages, explores the economic aspects, and wraps up with a summary of the current energy landscape. From there, the article dives into various types of renewable energy. Solar, wind, hydropower, emerging options like hydrogen, wave energy, and more. It raises key questions, presents analysis, and also covers other renewables, such as geothermal and bioenergy. It also addresses innovation and directions for future research. 
all structured according to proper academic standards. And of course, the article concludes with a final section titled Powering a Sustainable Future, highlighting the outlook for the field. There is also a data table summarizing the resources used, which ChatGPT references throughout the article and compiles into a bibliography at the end. So, overall, the deep research feature proves to be a powerful and practical tool, not just for scientific or academic projects. And GPT 4.5 performs especially well for writing and research tasks making it a highly suitable model for this kind of work. Final thoughts. Okay, guys, let's wrap this up with some final thoughts. AI tools are evolving fast, and today they can handle way more context than they could even six months ago. As you've seen, ChatGPT doesn't just generate text, it actually spends time analyzing sources. It even asks follow-up questions to deliver a much more accurate result. Honestly, I think this is an impressive feature, especially for students and researchers. But what do you think? Who else could benefit from deep research? If you're excited to try it out, or if you have already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear about your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, until next time.